Hello, welcome to Pi Excellence tutorial. Now, in this video, we are going to solve um, a question that deals with uh, Newton's law of uh, gravitation. All right. So uh, this is where we are talking about two bodies being attracted to each other, or there is a force. Excuse me. There is a force that is um, a force of gravity between two bodies. So it can be in space or even here on Earth. All right. So now here we will be talking about set rights. Uh, this topic helps us also to understand uh, why set rights, um, they, are, they don't fall once they are launched in, in space. All right. It's because of the force of gravity. So the question says, it's very short. A satellite orbits the Earth in about 87 minutes if its orbital radius is 6,500 kilometers. Use this data to find the mass of uh, the Earth. Given, I think here, we're given the, the value of G, which happens to be the constant, right? The value of G, which happens to be the constant, so I think it's the one that was supposed to be given here, given this, given G 6.67 by 10 to the power negative 11 Newton square meter per kg. All right. So now, Okay, so now um, let's say we have um, the Earth this is the Earth of mass M with a subscript and then we have also a set right of mass M over there and this set right is rotating. So let's take that as the path. Okay, I think that is even better. Okay, so let's take that as a path, all right. So it is using that path to rotate, of course. Now, since <clears throat> this set right is orbiting the Earth, then there is let that, all right from the center of the Earth and the center of the satellite, that radius we are being told to say is, okay, so let me just put radius, is 6,500 kilometers. Now, this satellite, all right, I'm looking for a better way. Okay, so this satellite, is being attracted by the force of gravity, of which we know that according to Newton, this force of gravity is given by the G and the mass of the Earth in this case, and the mass of the satellite divided by the square of the distance between them, all right? That is according to, to this law of gravity. This is what it states. So let this be our equation one. Now, look at this. This under circular motion, we talked about the centripetal force to be the force that an object, uh, a body that is moving, exert towards its center. All right? So if this was this, a satellite is moving, rotating like that around the Earth, it means that 
there is some centripetal force towards the earth. And this centripetal force, Fc, towards the earth, you can see that it is acting also as the attraction force between the satellite and the, uh, uh, the earth, all right? And that attraction force is the force of gravity. So the centripetal force, we know that is given by M because it's this set, right, of small letter M, V squared over R. That's the centripetal force for that one. Now, remember, I'm talking about this centripetal force being equal or being um, like the same in the same direction or the same force acting on these two bodies, which is the force of gravity. So what we are saying here is that the force of gravity being equal to the centripetal force. So we equate these two equations here, whereby we are going to have this one over R square being equal to the centripetal force over R. So we can cancel R and R there, we can cancel M and M there, and we are going to have this the R being equal to V squared. So now we can make M the subject of the formula. So the mass of the F is going to be V squared R over the gravitational um, constant. Now, this is where we have reached. So at this point, we can take two two ways, either to find the angular speed or we just go direct to find the velocity. So it is which way we feel is easy. But I think finding the velocity is going to be a bit easy. Now, here, you know that what you have been given here, that is the period. All right, a set right orbit the Earth in about 87 minutes. That is the period. So we need to convert that period into second. It is in minute. So that period T, 87 minutes times 60 seconds over one minute. So that that and that goes, and the period is going to be. 87 is 5,220 5,220 seconds. So this is our period, all right? Now, the radius we have already been given to say the radius is, uh, what is the radius? The radius is 6,500 kilometers of which in standard is going to be like that meters all right kilo is 10 to the power three so we have that what don't we have now what we don't have is the velocity so we know that velocity is two pi r over period like that so this one is just going to be two pi. It can be punched on a calculator into the radius, which is that over the period that is 220 seconds. So our velocity is going to be Well, velocity is going to be 7,823.9 meter per second. Okay. So now, what I'm saying that in the 
in the formula, velocity is squared. So I can square it right here. And what I'm going to get, so I'm going to get 6, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 5, 0 0.83 square, that's square. Now we are also multiplying by the radius meters over the gravitational constant, which is 6.67 times 10 to the power negative 11 Newton, the square, kg square, All right? So the mass of the Earth is going to be divide here five point nine six five or seven times 10 to the power 24 kg. So maybe someone is confused. Uh, how has he come up with a kg uh, from this? So what we have here, we have meter square, square, and then we have also a meter. And the Newton, remember that Newton is just kg meter that, all right, that's Newton. And then we're multiplying by that square. And then we have kg square. So kg square and that will go. And this and that will go. That will go and we'll end up having a kg. So this is how we get the mass of the Earth. I believe it was not difficult for you to follow through. Remember that here, Happiness is understanding physics. Well, I believe also that you have been helped. And if you have been helped, take time. Uh, give me reactions, comment, and uh, share with your colleagues as well so that they may be able to subscribe also to the channel. And also click on the notification bell so that you'll be among the first to get notified once I upload new content. Thank you so very much for your time.